This is question three of the 2020 uh, level three mechanics exam. Um, sweet, question three. Just a little side note, if, I mean, if you just watched level, uh, the second question, um, I just remembered this, where was it? This question here, doing this here, that is from the 2015 uh, question, uh, it's like question two or three, it's the one with a cat. It's based off the Smarter Every Day video. That's the same trick you use. The question's really hard to answer because it doesn't give you the constant, doesn't give you like the two fifths. You just need to use that. That's where I got it from. It was not for the gravity. It's still the same gravity. The gravity ele elevator question is question two. I think the cat one's question three. Anyway, um, cool. Uh, some lady, Serena, sits on a swing that is three meters long. Show that the period of the swing is 3.5 seconds. I mean, this is. T equals 2 pi square root L over G. Um, that should be like a funny L over G. Um, this, that's it, I was plug and chug. So, oh, this is a show question. Must have the formula first. Then you're gonna have the working. Uh, square root, well, how's long? Three over 9.81. I mean, if you'd done the internal 3.1, you would have done pendulums to death. So you should know this formula off by heart. There we go, so we get 3.4746 seconds and then obviously we round it because that number makes no sense because it's not the correct SF. Uh, I give it 3.5. 3.50 seconds. Just literally just give what they give. Um, I mean really this should be 3.47. Yeah, this is NCA for you, it doesn't really, anyway, explain giving, explain giving reasons how the period of the swing will be affected if Serena stands up on the swing while it's swinging freely. Um, hmm. Well, this is a SHM question, so basically the, the swing doesn't, if, well, her center of mass will move up, which will change the effect of length, which will shorten it, um, so the period will decrease, and that's really, that's really it, so I'll just pause and write it out. Right, so I said, <coughs> when Serena stands up, her center of mass moves closer to the bar, decreasing the effective length of the pendulum as the period proportional to the square root of the length. <coughs> decreasing the length will decrease the period. Um, that's really about it. I'm not really getting into the angular momentum or anything like that here. Um, this was a scholarship question, I don't know, one year, and it was absolutely diabolical. I could mathematically sh like solve the question, but I could never explain it. Um, I'm going to have to ask some dude with a PhD in physics that one day. Also, side note, this kid is definitely the kid of the person who wrote this paper. I would know because I've been, uh, I write papers um, for the place that I work for. Um, not going to go into it. And all the pictures and the images have to be um, either made yourself um, or Creative Commons. So it's easier to have your own pictures. So obviously in the exams I wrote, they have all pictures of me, obviously not like facing me but anyway regardless right the graph below shows that the storing force on serena against y which is a horizontal displacement from her equilibrium equilibrium position explain how the information in the graph below shows that swing is an example of shm so in like i don't know not every exam but most exams is they like what is the definition for shm the definition of shm is that the in order for simple harmonic motion to occur, the restoring force must be equal to the negative of the displacement, or linearly proportional to the negative of the displacement. And as we can see, the restoring force is negatively, it's negatively, it's a negative gradient, um, proportional to the displacement. So yeah, I'll just, I'll just pause and write that up. Right, so I said simple harmonic motion occurs when there is when there is a restoring force that is linearly proportional to a negative displacement. In other words, F is, there should be the proportional sign. I'm super messy, I know. I had negative X, but I mean, I've used Y, so I swapped that out for Y. Um, from the graph, we can see that F is equal to negative Y. I mean, I mean, there's, I can't see any constant in there, like it's not tilted up or tilted down. I mean, if there was sort of like this, oops, that should be through the axis, then there'd be some constant in there that's shifting it one way or the other, but I mean, that looks almost 45 degrees. Um, so we can say that that's true. Thus, this satisfy, satisfies the definition and can be thus considered SHM. Um, no, that's, that's really about it. Cool. Um, Serena swings from, one, from end A to B with an amplitude of one and a half meters in a period of 3.5 seconds. Use a reference circle below to calculate the velocity. Serena in the swing. 
when she is half a meter from end B. Oosh. Using the reference circles below. Okay, well, this is set up well, isn't it? So this one we'll use for position, Y, and this one we'll use for velocity, uh, V. Cool. Um, so it starts from A to B. Um, it's got an amplitude of 1.5. So from here to here, I'm going to assume it's swinging like that. Like that. Other kids do it backwards. I mean, it's just no, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, so 1.5. So the total distance from here to here is 3. Um, and when the swing, when she's half a meter from NB, so she put an X there, which means half a meter from NB, which is this is uh, 1 meter here. 1 meter. So. I'll draw a triangle. Do we? How are we going to draw this triangle? Up from here, I suppose. Do 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 do, and then do 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 do. Um, right. This is one point five. I'm trying to think of a tricky way to do this. Um, really, I should find this total angular distance. Call this theta. Um, so then I can plug that into this velocity diagram here. I mean, I'm probably not even going to need to use this. Um, if I can find that theta, I can find what the angular velocity is. And the angular velocity, so we're going to start at maximum. So it's going to be sine to cos, oh wait, cos to sine. So it's going to be V is equal to, uh, is equal to omega. Wait, hold on. This is starting at the top, so it's going to be cos. Differential of cos is negative sine, so it's going to be negative. Um, A omega, uh, what did I just say? Start sine um, theta. There we go. Um, right, how am I going to find out what that angle is? This one here. Well, I know this is this theta is going to be equal to pi, oh crap, that's pi over 2. Well, I can make it pi, a oh, no, cheeky way to do it, pi, which is 180 degrees, minus this angle here, uh, what am I going to call that? Thi. Sweet, and that is going to be equal to pi minus, got to use, uh, damn it, minus, um, thi is equal, we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse, Oosh, what's adjacent hypotenuse? Cos. Um, and it's going to be uh, cos inverse um, adjacent over hypotenuse. Yes, adjacent over hypotenuse, otherwise it wouldn't work. Um, there we go. And that is going to be equal to pi minus cos inverse, what's the adjacent? 1 over 1.5. And that is going to be equal to, so theta is equal to, is equal to pi minus, oh wait, hold on, that's equal to 2.3, I just calculated that then, um, radians, and then I'm going to plug this into here, so V is equal to minus 1.5, we don't have the angular velocity, but if we remember the angular velocity equals 2 pi F, is equal to 2 pi, f is the inverse of period, so 1 over, <clears throat> I mean f is equal to 1 over t, I just substitute that in, um, so I get times 2 pi over t times sine 2.3, um, and I did this before my calculator because I thought, man, this doesn't work, but it totally does, um, and I get, I mean you can see that, you can just pause the video, uh, that is equal to 2.008, it should have been negative 2 nah, meters per second, negative 1. Um, and the negative doesn't really matter because it's just asking for the actual velocity. I mean, it's just the magnitude. So V is equal to uh, 2.0, we round that up, meters per second, negative 1. I check the answer to make sure I'm not an idiot. Away, oh, I'm not an idiot. How'd they do it? Ush, they did it weirdly. Um, okay, so I didn't do it like the answers did it. I probably did it the easier way. I'd imagine, looks like the easier way, the more sensical way anyway. Um, 
that's it.